Hvad er det? Åh, hvor hæt var det? Terry, how are you? You're right. I'm, I'm not too bad, thanks, bud. Uh, I was just checking the reception. There's no signal here. I... No, no, no. We've tried a few to... times. No? No. So, yeah. Well, oh, I was asleep, was it all right? Oh, this was pretty good. It was pretty yeah. good. What did you dream about? Oh, oh just oh, all sorts of weird stuff. Stuff to do with ghosts and things. Anyway. That sounds like a nightmare, not a dream. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Sorry. I just I woke up with this. Is that your gravestone? I'm guessing. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, no. No pitch. No pitch. No pitch. No bitch. No, there's never any bitches. Never are. No, no pitch. Oh, no pitch. So, do we just get on with it? I guess so. But that's new. Maybe I'm over. Hello, I am your dish of the day, Queefy Tofu, and I am being served with a brace of tasty side salads from our organic lady garden. Hi, I'm Sam. Whose garden? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting worried. Okay. It must be the heat. Hello there, welcome back to Maybe Movies. I'm Max. Max! I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it sounded good to me. Did it? Oh, good. And I am indeed very much Sam. And I'm Chris. And welcome back. Yes, welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Good to see you again. To the start of the season, the spooky. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's all gone a little bit autumnal in here. Just a little bit. Yes. Orange. As you know, it's the only... I do not like orange, except when it's Halloween. Yes. Yeah, it's the only time where it's applicable, especially when you mix it up with some green. Yes, of course, yes. Why do you not like orange? It just bothers me. I see. It gently enrages me for some reason. Always has, doesn't since I was a kid. Orange is a bastard. And God, never wear it. Never. Never. That would drive me nuts. <laughs> I just want to have a little card for you now. Say, hi, I'm Sam. Bothered by orange. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me about orange. <laughs> thank you for joining us again. And most of all, thank you for everybody who voted in our poll. Oh, the poll, the poll. From last month, we will start there. For those of you who, who didn't see what we were doing last month, we were doing our regular Maybe Movies thing with Dirty Harry and Demolition Man, which became Demolition Harry and Dirty Man. <laughs> I, d I don't make them up. Actually, yes, I do. Okay. Um, Sam and I both voted for Dirty Man as our choice for Maybe Movie. We ran the poll in our usual places. So on Instagram, unfortunately, we didn't get any votes from there. So okay. we're still in the lead. On Twitter X, we had three votes for Demolition Harry. Okay. And on the community tab on YouTube now, I run the poll through until the Wednesday the following week. At midday, that's when I was doing the cutoff. At which point, we had six votes, three apiece. So... So Demolition Harry wins by one, but then somebody voted, but it was after I'd left the post saying voting has now closed. Technically speaking, it's Demolition Harry wins, but if we want to count that last vote, then it's a draw. Yeah, well, no, we've got to, we've got to follow the rules. Man. We do, we do. In which case, we are now voted, unfortunately. It would seem so. The audience has it. Demolition Harry was our maybe movie for August 2024, and we'll be here with a fanfare. That's the one. Fantastic. Again, thank you to everybody who voted and who checked out the shows and everybody who came in and supported us after it appeared that our, our growth was being stunted, shall we say. I mean, I don't know who's responsible for that. Anyway, <laughs> that was last month. Let's, let's move on to this month, I think. It's in the past. It is in the past. And if you saw my sort of mini business vlog that would have gone out on Monday, then I did mention on there that we will be running a competition with this month's Maybe Movies, which is in conjunction with our friends from Maple Mystery Games. Yay. Not going to be anything difficult. Nice and simple. Watch this month's Maybe Movies. Leave us a comment about what you think about what we've done on the show this month. Anybody who leaves a comment will be thrown into a hat. And at our first show in October, 
we will announce the winner and the prize itself will be a voucher code to one of Maple Mystery Games' party, maybe maybe mysteries? May too many M's. I'm <laughs> drowning in alliteration. One of Maple Mystery Games' party murder mysteries, which they do a Halloween-themed one. There'll be a voucher code for that, which we can then ping your way so you can claim your prize in time for Halloween. Uh, but I'll mention all of this again later, but I wanted to get it out of the way, because otherwise I'll forget. I was oh. really impressed with what you said, actually. You managed to keep that without... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody wants to hire me as a presenter. <laughs> What are we doing anyway? What are we doing this month? Ah. Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, that seems topical. Right. What also seems... Oh. Topical. Yes, it does. Okay. Beetlejuice and the Conjuring. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant Psycho. <laughs> Beetlejuice and Psycho. <laughs> that would be... Oh, that would be a weird one. That would be a weird one. That would be a really weird one. <laughs> it's always the future. Yeah, yeah. The, oh. <laughs> Damn, I haven't got my pen. I've got, I, I haven't got my pen. My pen. I'll, I will... yeah, there, there. Oh, what is that? I thought I'd have to go there. You could just remind yourself by looking at the two things and go, ah, there we go. Yeah, there's too much going on in my head for that. Ah. But um, I will make a note. I mean, obviously, we don't really return to movies, but... There is a new Beetlejuice coming out. Oh, yeah. So, possibly... Is it called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, or just yes. Beetlejuice 2? Beetlejuice, it's Beetlejuice. It's called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, yeah. I wonder if they'll make a third one. I, mean, I, I was wondering if they were going to make a trilogy, yeah, because yeah. it would be it would very on sense. point. Yes, definitely. definitely. It seems such a shame if they don't make a third one called that. Yeah, exactly. I'm guessing with a lot of things at the moment, it will depend on how well this one does. Yeah, that's true. Unless he's already filmed it. Well, there is, yeah. Uh, okay, so before we begin, so obviously, yeah, Bill Jason Plundering, one of the best of Tim Burton and one of the best of James Wan. Yes, agreed. Before yeah, we absolutely. start, because so that we know where we're going with this, because we're not doing the pitch meetings anymore, I'm not going to leave it till the end. We have a choice of names for this one. I'm going to leave it to you guys. We've either got the Beetling or Conjure Juice. <laughs> I was, I was leaning towards the Beetlejuice Conjuring. Oh, okay. Or Conjuring the Beetlejuice? Or Conjuring the Beetlejuice. Well, that's better. Or Conjuring the Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, okay. Well, fantastic. And it means we don't have to annoy the senses by Conjuring Juice. <laughs> yeah. Con Juice? Your mouth all glued up with Connie Juice. The Beetlejuring? <laughs> nah, I like Conjuring the Beetlejuice. Conjuring yeah. the Beetlejuice. Yeah, it is. Obviously, it's a mashup, so very sort of loose kind of nod to act calling because. Mm -hmm. Gonna end up where we're gonna end up anyway. Yeah. The conjuring I had because it's an hour and fifty one. I had behind the door. There's someone behind the door. Yeah. 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 That was me too. Five six minutes later. Okay. Yeah. You you're good with. I am good. Fantastic. For the end of Act Two, I had the reveal possesses the mother to kill the child, which is about an hour twenty, which leaves about half an hour for the, for the um, third act. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I haven't marked that scene. Uh, Lorraine falls all the way down into the cellar and sees the ghost of one of the other previous inhabitants of the house. Rory's mum, basically. Okay. I I had it slightly afterwards when she has her vision of her daughter at the pier is what I had. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's literally like a few seconds Because it's, it's when everybody leaves the house. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's about five minutes, if, if that afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. Okay. So I'm just wondering, it's, it's, it's always occurred to me, do we have limited oxygen in here? I'm being um, my own smoke machine to help fit the vibe oh. for s spook season. <laughs> so if you just lie down there behind the sofa and just blow it up oh. so we get it come <laughs> wafting up, that'll be fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. What about for, uh, Beetlejuice? What did... Uh, I, I thought it was sort of relatively simple with Beetlejuice. It's after they go through the door. Into the afterlife, yes. Into the afterlife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I had. I had Act 3 basically ending after they get called back to Juno's office. Or Act 2 beginning just after they get after they get called back to Juno's office. Yeah. I don't know whether it was then or when Lydia goes up to up to get Beetlejuice when they summon them. And the ghost with the most, babe. Yeah. When he sat down in the armchair. Yeah. The, but that was, but no, either, either is good. But yeah, but they're all, again, they're all around the same time anyway, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So how are we doing this thing? <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a lot of characters in both films. So we need to choose who we're taking mm -hmm. where. 
most of the action is obviously going to take place at the Maitland's house. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're focusing on that. Then. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm assuming that we still have the Maitlands as well as the Dietzes. The Dietzes. Dietz well, yeah, we have to because there's another other reason for Beetlejuice to be there. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to very quickly uh, again, just for people at home, are we literally taking both sets of ideology or how the supernatural works? Because obviously there's a very Judeo-Christian approach to it in the country, where it's a little bit more laissez-faire in Beetlejuice. True, but they don't break each other's fundamental rules. No, no, well, as I said, hopefully it will be something that we can play on, is there's the whole thing about threes. Draw the door, <laughs> knock three times, say his name three times. And then obviously in the country, you've got the three stages of possession. Yeah. So we can we feather those together at some point. It is the magic number. It is, quite often. So we're saying that... Basically, the Dietzes are going to call the Warrens in then? Yeah, so the Maitlands call in Beetlejuice to get rid of the humans, and they respond by calling in... The Warrens. The Warrens. Yeah. Uh, and I did notice on rewatching Beetlejuice, also does say that... Or Otho. I keep, I keep on getting an R in there for some reason. Which is weird, because that's now two months in a row that we've had Glenn Shaddix in a, in a film. It is. Yes, it is. Yes. Because he's in Demolition Man. Oh, right. <laughs> but that he does mention that in the 70s, he was one of New York's finest paranormal researchers. So maybe it's him that calls them in. Could be. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I don't even think it breaks the timeline. I think the Warrens may still have been active in the later 80s. Yeah. And people just as what, 86, 87? 88. 88? Is it as late as that? All right. Okay. But still, I think they may have still been active then in the real time or something, so we're not stretching anything. No. Does that mean then that we have, like, Act 1 just runs on rails? Do we just get... The same act one as Beetlejuice. Do you want to throw in some more spooky elements in it to bridge that gap between comedy, horror, and horror? Hmm, it's a tough one. Mm. I think we should possibly add a few cutaways to the Warrens with what they're doing, like working on the previous case and explaining about how some hauntings are just nothing more than leaking pipes and sometimes it's something else. And I mean, if you want to, again, to, to draw on something that is in the country anyway, because they talk about maybe we should take a step back and, and write that book and they keep talking to us about. It. So maybe that's what they're doing. Because again, we are a bit a long, later timeline-wise than the Conjuring. They are going to be older. But, yeah, maybe they're writing their book. And so they come out of retirement almost to do this? Just Yeah, I mean, it's a minor detail, but, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, I like that idea, actually, yeah. Have yeah. them coming yeah, out of retirement. Sense. I okay. thought you were talking about two different timelines that was happening at the same time. But... No, 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 right, no, I'm no. with you now. So that means we can establish them earlier in the film. Uh, again, we can maybe just, again, play up some of the stuff that's happening at the house. We see it more from the Dietz's point of view, so it feels more like a horror movie. Or are we keeping that still with the comedy horror? Comedy horror has a fine tradition. Mm -hmm. And I think we can afford to go a little darker without spoiling the comedy part of it. Cool. So make Beetlejuice very dark then. Well, we don't have to go that far. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's very slapstick as a character, isn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, oh, I see what you mean. So would he be more demonic, say? As opposed to what he is, he's kind of like a bit of a buffoon, isn't he, really? Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I always got the impression he was sort of a little bit demonic. Mm. Oh, he has his demonic qualities about him, but yeah, he's, just, he's just bad at it. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the comedy side of it, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a bit, which I did make a note of, and it is in Act 1. It's where they see the TV commercial from him, and he says, I've got demons running through me. Hell, I'll possess myself if I gotta! Wow! Yo, I got demons running all through me! Yeah, so maybe that's where our demonic things come from. When we actually get Beetlejuice appearing in the film, that's where we can bring in little t things from this, like the smell of rotting meat and things like that, is associated with him and, and his presence. Yeah, what, yeah. like the hanging girl from the tree as well? Like yeah. maybe he sees that and not... Yeah. Well, he's part of, I don't know. All, all the weird parts. All the weird stuff, yeah. In Conjuring, basically, yeah. We can do a lot of that in Act 1 then, to slightly advance the timeline of Beetlejuice mm -hmm. so that we can then look at bringing the Warrens in. Actually, they arrive on scene either at the end of Act 1 or the beginning of Act 2. So we're, we're not sort of back-ending the, them arriving at, at scene. Uh, then we have to do something funny to what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. Because nothing overt happens in the first act of Beetlejuice. No. It's just Lydia noticing. It's the only thing that happens. Yes, because they go around with the sheets, don't they? No, the sheets is in Act 2. See what I mean? Yeah. 
what we then need to do is something like move. Yeah, that's what I mean. We need to move the timeline or yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. to, so to we make, need to make to stuff move, happen earlier. Yeah, so move the stuff like the um, the events at the dinner party need to happen earlier because yeah. that's the first time they actually try and do something overt. While they all start singing um, Deo, don't they? Harry Belafonte. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Stop me if you heard this one. That's uh, halfway through set act. I know it is. That's the problem. Yeah, it's, it's how do we bring that forward? I mean, we. You can't really. Uh, right. We might have to. I don't know because you need to. You know, movie. Yeah, that's the problem. You don't want to keep changing the story around. Do we want to keep all the stuff in the afterlife as well? When they go to see Gino and all of those kind of things? Or are we going to not address that side of it too much and keep it contained in the real world? Because that would save us some time that we can fill up. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> no, it's difficult because the stuff in the afterlife is where a lot of the dark humour and Beetlejuice comes from. It is, yeah. So we'd be kind of shooting ourselves in the foot if we do that. Well, there's another way then then we could approach it because when they go to the afterlife and come back they've been gone three months mm -hmm. they haven't no. we could bring the warrens in and have them doing stuff in those three months that they've gone because beetlejuice is in the house causing shit but they haven't actually summoned him yet no they don't summon him until act two so that which is just before the dinner party but he is there He's there in the house. He's lurking in the graveyard, basically, from the point they die. So we can do it. Okay. So we will just have to say that his ability to affect things is reduced. But in those three months, he's doing stuff, exerting his will in so far as he can. We have a minor haunting from Beetlejuice as well as the Maitlands. Yeah. Okay. You think that works? Yeah, I think that works. That would accelerate things and it would give them an excuse to call somebody. Mm hmm and that's cool because then that means we can have more supernatural activity without it being really violent the way and exactly. over the top the way the Beetlejuice goes because his powers are reduced because he hasn't been summoned properly and his powers are weak so not just what minor so some minor disturbances from Beetlejuice while the Maitlands are away in the afterlife strange smells creaks things moved things moving yeah maybe I know it's minor things so like maybe like parts of her sculpture have moved slightly but they haven't fully animated. Yeah. So they'll come back in and like like all of the fingers have all kind of turned in slightly on one of the sculptures or something like that. It's minor, isn't it? So yeah. yeah, it works. It's enough to cause a bother, but then they don't yes. know whether they're going mental or... Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because we've got to think, even, even, even in The Conjuring, one of the things we could do, because movie, because to make it work for our timeline, mm -hmm. is that being in the afterline, that life doesn't take months. Yeah. So while they're away in the afterlife having their meeting, the Warrens are turning up to do their investigation and they see enough to, to go, okay, there's something worth investigating. But like, remember in the Conjuring, they took a few days Oh yeah, setting up equipment, getting people in, watching overnight, and it took multiple events for them to go, yeah, we need to call an exorcist. Mm -hmm. And of course, they're trying to do this while they're still redecorating the place and all that as yeah, well. Yeah, they're so, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. so they're all you know, getting under each other's feet and stuff like that. I'm, I'm more saying maybe we should have the first act be those first three months. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So no, they I have agree. plenty of yeah. time to see lots of ghostly shit. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. And then they go... And then at, then at the end of act two, we can have the Warrens turn up. Go. Gold, gold star. Two, sorry. Gold, 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 gold star. Uh, act one, we can end, uh, have the Warrens turn up and it works. Yeah, that works. I'm, I'm, I am happy with that. I'll grab your gold star in a moment. Where are your gold stars? They're right by you. They're right there. Well, did you get it to you? <laughs> the last bit. <laughs> but, oh, so are we saying that we're using this as a because movie or not? Because obviously we've only got the one. One what? Because movie, so that we can make something, we can change something that wouldn't, we wouldn't normally be able to change so that the movie flows because we were doing them one per act before and then it was getting too easy. So we've reduced it to one. Just one. If we pay for it, that's it. Come into a stumbling block later in the film or in the process. We either have to think our way out of it or the movie breaks. So are we using that here? Well, this I mean, it's my suggestion. I mean, obviously, this needs to be a group decision as to whether or not to use that, maybe, the close movie. But I'm, I'm happy to use it here. I'm happy. Yep, that's, you know. It does get us out of a bind. It does. Yep, okay, cool. I've even got a graphic for it now as well. A graphic? Yeah. Oh, for this? For a because maybe, yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> kind of, that's a, that's our first act, right? Pretty much. Yeah. We have the Warrens in the house. Yeah. Um, so is it just them? Are we having, like, the, uh, I can't remember the Asian guy's name. Uh, uh, Drew? Drew, that's it, yes. Yeah, Drew, and the policeman was Brad. Uh, I mean, we won't have the policeman because they're in a different area. 
Well, Beal Juice really... hasn't been summoned yet, though, has he? He's Not properly in, summoned, no, but he's no. still he's still up to mischief. He's just his powers are reduced. Yeah. yeah. So once the Maitlands have enough and call him out, then he gets unleashed in his full power sort of thing. Fantastic. So that brings us to the end of Act 1. Yay! So Act 2, at least the first couple of scenes... In the afterlife. In the afterlife, and Lydia in the attic finding the book of the recently deceased. We're happy that the Warrens or anything don't spot that. I think as Lydia picked it up, she'd have taken it to her room, so the, that that's a convenient way for the Warrens not to find it straight away. Yeah. But then, I mean, after that, it goes to their bit when they're coming back to the house. Mm-hmm. Do we want to have that happening at the same time as the Warrens turn up? Or should we have the Warrens turn up before they before they get back to the house with then talk to Juno is what I mean. Because even though we're, we're not saying that it lasts three months for them to wait in their, their time in the afterlife, it might still be a few hours. I just wonder if we want to give War, the Warrens time to turn up and do their little interview and do their little initial stuff. And then when they agree to investigate then have the family turn up, uh, have the Maitlands come back to the house and speak to Juno later that night or, or whatever. I think that works. Well, I, did, I was just thinking, and again, if we can, I don't know if it's too early to put this in there, there's the bit with Beetlejuice where he coaxes the fly yes. and pulls it in. With the Zagnut. With the Zagnut, yes. Yeah. Pulls the fly in and you hear this, help me, help me. Yeah. And then just this swarm of flies come out. I don't know if that's a bit too overt at this stage. I don't know whether it's possibly tying it into something that the Warrens say, there is a trace of something here, but we don't think it's anything too much. Oh, it's not too much, is it? Have all of this. I'm, on one hand, I like the visual. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, I'm worried that we're going to lead the Warrens immediately to demonic possession. Yeah. Which, I mean, we can do. It doesn't really matter, does it? Even if they they still have to investigate, right? Even if they suspect demonic infestation, they have to. Yeah. They still have to do their investigation. Yeah, because when they first get to the parents' house, that he that the dad says, "We get this smell like rotting meat." Mm. Or you get this bad smell, and Ed asks, "Is it like rotting meat?" They're aware that it because it's a possibility. I mean, the other way to do it is that we have him grab the fly now. We keep the visual, and we do it as a as a callback later in the film. Maybe when they've moved the model downstairs. It's not bad, I feel. Oh yeah, yeah, that could be a nice scene for later. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put that in our pocket and save it for later. Fantastic. Uh, but, but... Gold ha- star. Yeah, have a star. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, but have a star. Uh, <laughs> you can't tell that we're desperate for them or anything, can you? No. We can for yours. So, uh, then we have the bit with the room of Lost Souls and Juno. Not one. Um, after the, the, you know, after we see the, the Warrens doing their thing. And then it's after that. That's that's when. Well, oh, sorry, I missed everything, didn't I? No, you didn't. No, please keep talking. Oh, okay, you didn't miss anything. Please at keep all. talking. And that's when the Maitlands start trying to haunt the family properly, like getting the sheets and <laughs> moving things around and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are we saying that Lorraine can see them? I was going to assume that. Yeah, but I was saying the, the implication in the Conjuring is that yes, she can because she can see the Hanged Woman and things like that, yeah. can't she? And I was just thinking, just to make things simple. Really? So yeah. she can, just in case, because of movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, again, could be a point of confusion for her, because she's so used to these things that see her should terrify her. But there's maybe a benign energy coming off them that confuses her? Well, yeah, even in The Conjuring, she's like, there are these ghosts here, here, and here in the yeah. house, but there's also something else, and I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. So it does work. Again, we've still got that yeah. two-tier. That, yeah. This is the thing. I mean, in The Conjuring, well, the source said, sort of suggests that sometimes she senses them, and sometimes she can just see them. So we can play around with that as much as we want. We might not have her see them straight away, but sense that they're they're in the house sort of thing. So she senses them the first time she sees them. A bit like Lydia was when they've stretched themselves out and stuff. Possibly. I mean, that's a lot later. But it, well, it, it, it is a lot later, but... And also they never do anything with it. I've got, a feeling, I've got a feeling the third act is going to be radically different. So I don't know how much attention we be... How much we should be beholden to the plot. I mean, we're rapidly approaching the part where we're starting to change things mm-hmm. permanently. So I, I'm just wondering, if I remember rightly, like the first time they turn up at the house, they come in and they chat with the family and then they go away. Yeah, because they go home and there's nothing on the tape, is there? Exactly. We could do the same thing, which means... Because that's it's at night when they do the thing with the sheets to haunt them, and they then have that conversation with Lydia. Yeah, can't scare her. She's sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. So we could have that without the Warrens present to interrupt it. Mm-hmm. Well, that works. Because we want to build the relationship with Lydia, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. To make them to make things. Uh... Oh, that just looked weird. Come back. So. Uh... 
do they find something then in, in again, similar fashion? They try to listen to the recording of the interview. Do we want to throw something spicy on the recording? What's the matter? Do spicy for ya! From Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would make sense because that's part of his sort of characteristic. Right? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. yeah. But are you still aiming for the comedy approach? Or was he actually being more threatening? It could start really kind of terrifying with all these weird noises and demonic sounds and things like that, and then just his laughter at the end of it. Uh, yeah. We're coming for you, Bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not going to have the scene the next day when Lydia's trying to convince the entire family that the house is haunted. No. At this point, everybody believes her. Yeah. But she does have a photo, because that would be a thing to show to the Warrens to get them more involved in things anyway. I right, just want you to look at some photos. Tell me what you think. Mm-mm. Yeah, which they'll probably want to send off to have. So I'm, I'm going to say the next day should be basically the Warrens and their team moving in, setting up things around the house, yeah. try, you know, all the microphones and yeah. cameras and crap like they do in The Conjuring. <laughs> this would be a lot more simpler if you changed this from The Conjuring to Ghostbusters, maybe. It was originally Ghostbusters, but we did Ghostbusters earlier in the year. I know you did. It yeah. Like... Or The Conjuring yeah, but... meets Casper? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Conjuring meets Casper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that works. We get them moving in. Obviously, people like like Charles and that trying to keep them out of the studying because he wants it kept as his little haven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can have that little stuff. And I suppose this is when we say that the Maitlands realise that the humans aren't giving up. And in fact, they 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 called in reinforcements. So out of desperation, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Which is we get our first proper proper snake. look at him. Yeah, yeah, snake and everything. Which again for them for the Warrens, obviously the well, well, this is, with this, well, and hang demons. on. We don't have the dinner party, do we? If the Warrens are, in, are they going to have a dinner party with the Warrens there? No, but they, it could be just be them having dinner with the Warrens because they, the Warrens stay with them. Don't they? So we still get the Dio scene. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was worried about losing. <laughs> I was really worried about losing. I, that's one of my favourite bits of the movie. That is. <laughs> well, Patrick Wilson and um, Vera Farmiga, isn't it? Yeah, doing Vera Farmiga yeah, doing yeah. the yeah, doing the Calypso. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yeah. They're yeah. comfortable with each other. They'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. So be- because they're being forced to do stuff. Because that in, in itself is almost like a form of possession, isn't it? They're being forced to act against their will. Yes. So for them, it's going to be absolutely... That's, that's, a, that's a... Oh, red flag, red flag. Warning, yeah. warning, warning. <laughs> yeah, because if I remember rightly, the way the Warrens explain it in The Conjuring is they don't think ghosts possess things, they think demons possess things. Yes. We could still have it being the same, but obviously the Warrens are just wrong. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, they'll, they would appreciate the fact that they, you know, they haven't got all of the answers. So. And they haven't met anyone quite like Beetlejuice. No. no. So maybe then, again, what I was saying earlier about, again, wanting to include this thing, obviously about the, about the magic number, about three, so again, you've got infestation, oppression, and, and possession. Because technically, there's only twice that Beetlejuice is summoned in the first film. To put those two things together, the first time they summon him, that's infestation. Yeah. The second time they summon him, that's oppression. And if they summon him a third time, then he can possess somebody. Okay, okay. So each of his manifestations is one step. So we'll follow the rules the Warrens have. Yes. So this is infestation. So this one is, he's allowed, this gives him license to do what he wants in the house from this point forward. Yes. Yeah, it does. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm, I'm adhering to the plot too much, but we'll probably have a moment when Lady is like, look, they, they live up in the attic. They just want to be left alone. They're only doing this because they know we won't leave them alone. At which point then the Warrens can come back with something along the lines of... That's fine, because they're recently dead, but the longer they stay here, the more they become removed from the real world, Mm -hmm. and at some point, they will turn violent. Oh, Or or it's potential that they can turn violent as they become more disassociated from reality or from life. Yeah, Um, that is a real paranormal theory. Yeah, that gives them an excuse to go up there, and then on the way back down, the banister turns into a massive snake. Yes, and we get our full-on demonic uh, manifestation. Yes, yeah. We're coming for your daughter, (laughs) Bob. I love that line. If you can imagine some horrific snake that's part Tim Burton, part James Wan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would just be a giant snake. That's all I can imagine. That's it. James Wan, he'd just be... Well, have you seen the other film he made? Mal- Malignian? Malignant, yes. Malignant. I've Malignant. Yeah. Malignant. Yeah. I, I, that's, I've not seen it, but I've heard it's meant to be his most wackiest outfit. It's fucking mental. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it starts off being one kind of movie, and then the, the, the third act just goes... Woof! Off on a tangent. It is a homage to Giallo. The first two acts are very much Giallo, yeah. and then the third act goes woof. I loved it. I thought it was a real breath of fresh air. I know people are like, oh, I unfortunately, yeah, no, I, I got spoiled. Well. I had the third act spoiled oh. for me before I saw it, so I knew it was coming. But I still enjoyed the hell out of watching yeah. it. He's a good filmmaker, James. One. Um, did he do the second one? 
Well, The Conjuring. Yes. Yeah, he did the second one, but not the third. Not the third, that's it, yeah. yeah. Uh, as we've slightly taken a, uh, taken a dip out of the action, I will take this opportunity to do a quick shout-out. And not surprisingly, my shout-out for today is going to be for Maple Mystery Games. So this is a small company. It's run by Jan and her husband, whose name I don't know, unfortunately. They're a pair of writers who love murder and <laughs> mystery and then thought let's put these two together and do a series of themed uh, party murder mystery games sounds like a good idea yeah. sounds like a great idea and obviously as i say they're all th- they do a selection of themed ones and obviously seasonal ones as well christmas ones and things like that and obviously we are looking at one of their halloween ones for our competition which i mentioned at the start and i want to remind you again leave us a comment let us know what you think of what we've done here today. I'm not, there's not going to be loads of rules for this thing. It's just anyone, everybody who leaves a comment will be thrown in. That's it. Nice and simple. And then, as I say, at the start of our first show in October, we will announce who the winner is and get you a voucher code for your choice of party murder mystery. Ooh, uh, misses. So do it. Comment. And let us know. I love the biting thing you just did there. <laughs> it's been... What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the gnashing and wailing of teeth. With nasty, big, pointy teeth. Oh, sorry. You're yes. Very... Um, if you've run out of things to watch, guys, I tell you what you could watch on Amazon Prime. Buying Time. It's so just a film I produced and directed. No big deal. Oh, no big deal at no all. No big deal. I just found out, just informed the guys today that it's uh, officially on Amazon Prime. Please give it a watch. Unfortunately, you do have to rent or buy it, as I just found out. It's not a lot just to rent. I think it's free 49 just to rent. A pint is more expensive than that. It is. So, it is. you know, rather than drink a pint of beer, just watch buying time. And having had the honour of having, to, having already seen it, it is definitely worth your time. It's a testament to what can be done by local filmmakers. So, yes, absolutely. Do check it out. The alternative is Rings of Power. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know where your bread is buttered. Please don't watch Rings of Power. <laughs> Just watch my time instead, please. Thank you. Okay, where were we? Where were we? So, uh, Conjuring the Beetlejuice. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're technically running in towards the end of the second act, according to the original script. Mm. How do we want to accelerate things? Because it's the third act's not going to work the same way. We're not going to get Maxie Dean or any of that stuff there. It's all too terrifying now. There's another line that I noted from Ed. It's earlier in the, act, in the, in the film, in the country, but we can bring it in here, about keeping the genie in the bottle. So it's like trying to get a message to somebody to put the genie back in the bottle. Oh, right, yeah. By, by recalling Beetlejuice to stop all of these terrifying things that are happening. Is that in the basement? Well, when he says that. Yeah, no, in The Conjuring, and The Conjuring all ends in the basement. It all ends in the basement. So yeah. is that going to happen there, though, in the basement? We don't, they don't even know if the maintenance have a basement. We never see each other. It's all up in... Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Right at the beginning when Janet is trying to talk to... Uh, Adam. Yes, of and, course. And he's listening on uh, to his songs on the tape machine. That's in the basement. Damn it, I forgot about. Is it Jane? Isn't it? I forgot about her. Jane. Yeah. I forgot about her because I did make a note when I was watching it. I thought the crash worked because their brakes failed. Well, I thought, did Jane do their brakes? Oh, right. I got really dark with it, and she had them killed so that she could get him and tell the house to somebody. That is <laughs> that is dark. That is dark. Uh, but at this point, at this point, everybody, including the Warrens, have seen the full demonic manifestation yes. of Beetlejuice. So how do how do we want to conclude our second act? I know I was saying later, but maybe this is then when Lorraine sees the Maitlands properly. I wondered if because there's obviously that bit when Barbara comes down and says Beetlejuice, 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 to yes. take him away. Maybe Lorraine sees her then. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, no, I think I think that's a good way to end it because it makes you want to watch more of it. So yeah, that only makes sense personally as a viewer. And then you that because cool. yeah, because it would be a mystery for Lorraine. Like there's this demon that just turned up, and now this ghost seems to have control over it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'm I'm good with that. Yeah, that works really, really well. God knows what we're going to do in week three, though. Because again, if what I was saying earlier there about the three summonings, we've got to get two summonings of Beetlejuice in. in, in... I'm going to say just just for a moment, and I'm I not doing this to be mean, but because it helps us. Yeah, I think you may have understood the three stages. We had Beetlejuice already in the house at the beginning of the movie. That's infestation. That is infestation. So this is this this is oppression. It is yes. The that's... third act one is going to be that yeah. would be possession. Gotcha. Brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're there, aren't we? So is there any other things in that book besides from films?
Well, this, yeah, they make a note of. They're not, not really. I mean, there are a few things early on about the channel and stuff like that, but like, no, but mostly it's just for the movies. Oh, I see, I see. Didn't think there was doodles or anything like that in drawing. No, 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 no. I'm not much of a doodler. I'm a terrible doodler, actually. You a terrible doodler? I am. Terrible doodle? Are you a terrible doodler? Yeah. Mostly. I don't know why I'm looking at so, this. So, third act. Do we want to start, say, and again, looking at my notes from The country? with the third act is they go to the church to authorise an exorcism? Yes. Mm-hmm. So we can throw that in there, which leads me on to my next question. Do we want to, to poach the thing from the Conjuring about him trying to affect the daughter at home with Annabelle? Well, that's the thing, because when we did the setup, they were retired and they were uh, writing their books, so it's a different situation. She was daughter's older. So we haven't really set up Annabelle? No, we haven't. Okay, I haven't mentioned her, not once, have we? No. no. So yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any point putting her in it. Fair enough. <sighs> Because oh. that would have been crazy. You could just see sat in the oh, house God, where do we go with there? Annabelle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> then they'd have their own film together. And, yeah. yeah. There's three Annabelle films, isn't it? I yes. think so. Yes. Annabelle 1 and 2, and then Annabelle Comes Home. I haven't seen 2. I've seen Come Home. That was actually pretty good. Uh, Annabelle Comes Home was great, yeah. So, the Warrens go to the, go to the church. What are we having happening in the house then while they're, while they're doing that? And there's no paranormal team. I think we've got Drew. Are we having the cop as well? Because he was local, there wasn't he, to where, where the parents were. Yes, but that's an easy switch. They just... Con- there's just a local cop. Yeah, I don't know. My brain, for once, is trying to force me to go into the third act of Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, we're not there, are we? We're not in that place. <laughs> oh, God. What happens next? They get pulled back to see Juno, don't they? Yes. So I think that's what happens next is, well, the Warrens are off at the church. They get pulled back in to see Juno. I think one of the next things we're going to have to have in this act as well, mm. Lydia shows in the book. Shows who? What? The Warrens. The Warrens. Okay. Although we should probably do that after they've been to the church, because because we can't have them giving that to the Catholic Church. No, that would be that would be oh dear, that'd be a whole different problem. Yeah. <laughs> Things suddenly develop on a world stage. So they're at the church. So they go to the church. While they're at the church, they go to Juno's office. <laughs> which leaves the Beetlejuice to kind of run amok a bit, really. So we don't have them being distracted by the whorehouse. Mm, yeah. Well, if this is all happening during the day. We can feed into thinking the conjuring that most of the most of the um, manifestations happen at night. Mm. They very rarely happen during the day. So that buys us some time, which means we can't have the whole husband. Okay. So Beetlejuice is currently distracted, but that only lasts for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is the all right, we're now we're we're completely off the rails here. You're off the edge of the map, mate. Here there'd be monsters. What what happens next? Uh how about this? So they've gone to the church. They again they would have to um, because they have to go to the diocese. So they would have to give word to the bishop, who would then have to contact the Vatican. So we'll say that the, the bishop isn't in the town. They've had to go another town over. They get a flat on the way back, which delays them getting back there. Otho uh-huh. doesn't want to wait and does the seance. Ah, 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 okay. Sort of works. Does that fill in the blanks? Sort of fill in the blanks. Puts us back on the rails a bit. It does. That's, that's the only reason I'm thinking. But I'm just thinking we needed some inciting incident. Yes. Yeah. Well, at the very at the very least, we can do this one because this this then feeds into what we kind of need to happen at the end is that we'll have the scene with Lydia going up the attic to the attic to see the the Maitlands and finding Beetlejuice. Yes. And then we're having that conversation. That works. That works because then. They come back out with their faces. We'll, 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 we are railroading it again. I mean, it may not even. Mm. No, it does work. It does work. She goes up to speak to Beetlejuice, and then they reappear. And I know. I know. I'm trying to go back into it a bit too much. But what? Was, oh no. What about this? While that is that action is going on somewhere else in the house, or Otho is having a conversation with Drew. He's obviously had a look at the book. Because I forgot, he's got the book, hasn't he? He takes it from Lydia, doesn't he? No, he doesn't take it from Lydia. He takes it from the attic, but we didn't have that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not the basement. No, it's there. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe maybe then we should throw him that in retroactively. Okay. All right. Okay. And he's questioning him because as far as he's concerned, he sees what's in the book about the pomp, the ceremony, and things like that, about having to have something of theirs and all of this kind of thing. Mm. And maybe because Drew is approaching it from the point of view of a paranormal investigator. Yeah, some of that stuff's true, but it's not ne- It's not absolutely necessary. So author goes off and does it on his own, which gives us an exciting incident. means we don't have to have the full set piece of them sat around the table with the wedding dresses or whatever. Right. 
Right, okay. Where are the Warrens and all of this? As I said, they're on their way back and they get delayed because they've had to travel further away. Maybe there's a breakdown or something. So there's a period of time where they can't get back. They will turn up at the appropriate moment. What's the appropriate moment? To try and put right whatever else, what, everything that's going wrong. Because if you want to lead up to the moment where he has to perform the exorcism himself and include that to try and exercise Beetlejuice. Uh... Right. I'm just trying to mash them together a bit, but I don't know if I've... Yeah, I don't know where we're going, because on one hand we're going towards the wedding, but on the other hand we're going towards an exorcism. We're railroading ourselves. We are railroading ourselves. Well, I'm running out of ideas, so oh, this okay. guy hasn't got any ideas. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then I won't look at you. Go off the rail, Sam. You can do it! Okay, so, ultimately then, what do we want our ending to be? If we start with what our ending is going to be, then we know how to work towards it. Or it would be easier to work towards it. Right, well, you see, why have we included the Warrens if there isn't going to be some sort of exorcism? Is my question. It feels like that's sort of where we need to head. question who they're going to exorcise is up, up for grabs, but... In the same in the country, they are looking to exorcise Bathsheba. They are aware there are other spirits present, but they don't focus on them. They focus on the demonic entity. So they're going to be trying to exorcise Beetlejuice. That way it gives the Warrens more purpose. <laughs> Because the maidens might as well be the same as any of the other spirits that are in the country house. I'm going to say let's ignore the ritual. Because mm -hmm. I, think, I think that's the thing that's railroading us. Yes. And just have Beetlejuice unleashed on the house. Mm -hmm. See, oh God, this is like we've, we've set up so many things that we're... That we're, we're we're not probably going to be able to do properly. Like it's, doing the third Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's because of the ritual. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's why I was trying to find a way of including a foil for the ritual without having to have the whole shebang, which was Ortho gets some information from Drew that makes him think that, well, actually needing the pieces and things like that isn't always necessary. So that's what I was saying. He goes off and does it on his own. Well, that's what causes the maidens to be in jeopardy. That leads to Lydia calling his name. <laughs> Use my name. And they're setting him free. And having the warrants out of the picture for while this all happens means they then have to arrive at the last minute and put things right. We can also move Drew out of the picture by saying they've broken down somewhere, so they call the house. He has to go and pick them up. Everything goes to shit and they have to come back and smooth everything over. It's it's a reach, I know, and I'm kind of plucking bits and pieces, but it's the only way that I can say to keep it running. It's a reach, but it makes sense to draw to the, that conclusion. Unless you've got another way that we can put the maintenance in peril that leads to, or another reason for Lydia to call Beetlejuice, unless it's not Lydia that does it, and we find somebody else who calls. I mean, we haven't really done that much with Catherine O'Hara. Maybe she's stressing out or something, and well, are we saying that they found out his name? Beyond Lydia, are the other mortals aware of Beetlejuice by name, because then we can engineer a way for one of them to say it. I was just having a thought about that. Instead of having Otho find the book in the attic, you remember the advert that fell out of the book? Oh, yes. Have him find that. And that way we avoid the ritual so we don't railroad ourselves, but we unleash... We do still unleash... We unleash Beetlejuice yeah. and absolve Lydia of any wrongdoing at the same time. Yeah? Is yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Which sets him on, on loose on the house so we can have a bit of fun with him. Yep, yeah, and obviously, again, things go haywire, statues come to life, cats and dogs living together. Nickelodeon goo. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a famous thing from the 90s. You have to be from the, you have to be a kid in the 90s. Yeah. Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, all you. Had a kid's Is zone. It? Gen X. Well, Gen X? Of course they have. I'm not, how can I be a lady? You didn't Gen know X. what Nickelodeon goo was. Yeah. So my brother's the right age to remember it. Uh, he, was, he was he was a young teenager in the 90s, so he, he would have been able, old enough to remember it. I think cool back in the day. Oh, Somebody needs to take this from me. Also, it's Halloween slime. Uh, of of course, course it is. Being an actor Yeah, pleasant. yeah. You got actor pleasant. No. That's something else. See, this is what you get in Marvel Tally Story. <laughs> Otho finds the advert? Yes. Maybe it thinks it's his key to fame and power or something. And we're yeah. saying everybody's, everybody knows who Beetlejuice is. They're about to if they don't already. Oh, right. So they're not without them from the very beginning, though. No. No, no, no. no. Uh, but this works because when he comes out, in the same way that he tailors how he terrorises Black Steen and all those, mm -hmm. because of their avarice, you know, wanting to turn the place into a theme park, he will play up the expectations of the Warrens are. So we get something truly demonic. With, yeah, his own, with his own bent to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So lots of 
flitting about ghost spirits and again there's things coming to life and horrible smells and all of the bleeding walls the full auntie yes absolutely Nickelodeon goo yeah <laughs> all of the Nickelodeon goo am I going to have to go and research Nickelodeon goo now? just obviously I have seen videos about it it was a thing it's gonna give me work to do just okay. for once you learn something alright <laughs> fine are we combining that with what I was saying that for some reason they're delayed getting back to the house to allow well, that that now works because that that means they are turning up in the nick of time. Like all the bang, shutters are banging. Yeah, yeah, the, the flames up in the, up in the nick of the attic. Yeah, like the most extravagant and over the top Halloween house ever. Yes. Fantastic. I love the idea of them driving up to the house and it just being like, you know, fog rolling off the eaves and howling and flickering light, light in the windows. Heavy dark Somebody's loud. rattling a, a shutter or yes. banging against the window upstairs and, you know, he screams and howls and stuff. And obviously they rush in. Probably again, if you want to, if you want to drag this out a bit, they kind of rush up, doors slam closed to keep them out and they have to find another way in and all of this yeah, full stuff. We'll give it a little bit of, a little bit of uh, tension. They eventually get into the house and that's when they decide, right, we can't wait. We have to do the exorcism now. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, that in itself, and, I, and again, I know you were saying worried about being railroaded, but that might work. So you've got the wedding, and they're trying to do the exorcism while the wedding is going on. So we still give Beetlejuice's main motivation yeah. of wanting to get out. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to stop, trying to put the genie back in the box. Has that uh, ever happened before, a film where there's an exorcism and a wedding at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. That would definitely... That I would, think it would be a first. That would be a hit. It yeah. would, definitely, yeah. My best friend's exorcism wedding. <laughs> we can throw in stuff with them again while, while they're trying to do it with him, trying to stop them doing it. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> it just keeps sinking in for me. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, absolutely. I would watch that. Yeah, you. Would, I, 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 I would too, I think. Is that the um, is that the subtitle for the film? Is it? No, that's the title. That is now the title, is it? Yeah, Best yeah. Friends Exorcist Wedding. Wed uh, Exorcist Wedding. How do we want to finish it? Are we going to let the Warrens do it? Yes. Yeah, give them something to do. Yeah, let them complete the exorcism yeah, so, and, yeah. and complete yeah. their character arc. Yeah, yeah. gives them a purpose and reason. Yeah, because it'll be a bit cheap to have a leap come through the roof with the um, sand shark. And all. So and again, it should be time so it's just a, as they're saying I like, do that protracted bit there that they throw some holy water oh right yeah do the do the deed do the deed and send him packing throw some garlic in there did you go up in flames screaming and puff, puff of smoke green flames should they be green flames because obviously green flames is suggestive of his control over the situation because he he seems to favour green doesn't he black Oh, I suppose, yeah. So maybe as he goes up in flames, but as he's just disappearing, there's just like a flicker of green through it. That maybe he's not he's not all out. <laughs> yeah. But what do you do with the maintenance? Though? Do we just the the this house has been cleansed? Yeah. Yeah. Do I mean do we give them a happy ending? Uh You every time man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it, I'm sorry. Do you hear me? It's it's all me. What? Yeah, it is all you. Every time I say the words happy ending. He's trying not to laugh again now. I think there should always be a happy ending. I think there should always be a happy ending. So do I. So I think, yes. Uh, I, again, we, as, as we're saying, again, we're cluttering, there are spirits there, but again, most of the time they're benign. And you're bringing that character from the Pol Oligarch film in to say this house has been cleansed. This house is clean. We can bring her in if you like. Yeah. <laughs> Just for an extra reference. Just as the um, mystery machine. <laughs> And the Impala from um, Supernatural, Supernatural pulls up yeah. as yeah. well. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do a crossover. <laughs> like five times as many. So for their trophy room, Beetlejuice headstone, uh -huh. the model from the from from the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, as as well, because we set it up earlier. In that sequence, we get the thing again with the big swarm of flies coming out of the um, the graveyard. Oh yes, of course. Yes, so we've got. To put, yeah, we've got to put that in earlier. So we'll yeah. throw that in. And that's that's the end, right? That's all. That is. We have we have achieved our goal. We have finished the movie, and we didn't break it somehow. 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 Directed okay. by James Wan. <laughs> so we're going to do what we normally do: take a couple of seconds, compose ourselves, gather our thoughts, and we'll be straight back with our votes. We're going to do cast our votes for whether or not we think that Conjuring the Beetlejuice is. A maybe movie, or potentially a maybe movie, or not. Pretty low scoring one this time. Uh, I'm, I'm on a one. I am on two. I'm on a 
thing. Or <laughs> gear. Try harder, dear. Oh, well, you go first. You have the lowest score, you go first. It's certainly a crossover, isn't it? Mm. Just thinking about, obviously, this is our first draft. You know, we'd have to allow for rewrites and stuff. Not Disney rewrites. No. No. I would say it's not a maybe movie, just for personal reasons. I don't know. I just, I don't think I would watch it. No? No. Even with an exorcism wedding? I love an exorcism wedding, but I'm not a huge fan of Beetlejuice in general. Okay. It's my thing. So I thought it was good, but I think of all the other things that we've come up with, that's one of the least ones. But mm-hmm. The process itself was kind of seat of your pants. And again, a lot of the time where these are kind of coming with some ideas, I do feel that this one was jumped into. It's certainly not a basic framework of how we're going to put these two together. It has some nice moments in it, but have we done enough to say we've done our job? I'm getting on the fence. Part of says just barely... But then, eh, no. Yeah, I'm with you on that. It's barely, but yeah, yeah it's, it it's literally easy. either side. Uh, but it's like, but do those little moments that we've thrown in make up for all of the stuff that we've missed? And I don't, th- I, I don't think they do. So I'm, I'm a no. I think we're going to be unanimous. Like Chris, I love the sh- the exorcism wedding. That sounds fun. But the rest of the movie, I just don't feel like we did enough of anything really. To make it unique, it's just a mashup of two plots. Yeah, very broad strokes. There's no real fine detail, and certainly no layers. Yeah, oh, no, there, there was no sign of any onions there. No. So it'd be a perfect for Netflix then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Take that, Netflix. <laughs> yeah, you didn't put his movie on. Yeah. Okay. Please take the film. So we are unanimous. For us, uh, Conjuring the Beetlejuice is not a maybe movie but as always now it's over to you guys at home have a look back at the episode have a think about it and cast your votes in all the usual places so on our Zadrim Instagram story be the pin post on our Zadrim Twitter account and also on our community tab as well and I'll run these through for those that I can run on for any length of time through until Wednesday midday Wednesday next week to cast your votes and at the first episode next month we will announce whether or not it makes the grade and of course as well please do jump in with our competition our first ever competition all you have to do is leave us a comment tell us about what you think about what we did here today and maybe win yourself a party murder mystery was that the prize that is the prize it is indeed yes and i think that that that's it do you have anything to say no I, i don't i don't think i've got anything extra to add here I think we said everything we need to. I think we do always have the um, the existential film library. We can go and see what new releases there are. Maybe we can go and watch Buying Time. Yes. Yeah. Come on. You have to just yeah, so assume the position and reach out with your my. Imagine that you are seated in a movie theatre with the countdown on the screen. And that's not buying time. Hang on. That soldier remembers. Oh, oh no! Turn it off. Ba 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 ba